Okay guys, today I'm back for another video and this is going to be my January 2015 Blu-ray collection video. I've been actually meaning to do this video for a while but the reason that it took a while is because of, well, this. I have got another shelf uh, in unit and um, uh, because I ran out of space and I've been meaning for this actually took a while to get delivered so I've just been waiting till this got delivered and got set up and whatnot and I had to move around the room a little but now it's here I can finally do the video so we'll start over here and uh, we'll start with the box sets so first up here we have the Alien Anthology this is all four Alien films uh, obviously the first two are awesome and the other two are not, but you know this is a nice set to have. It's uh, This is the original Digipack version, so good to have. We have the Back to the Future trilogy, um, obviously the first one's the best, and the other two are good, but not quite on the same level, but yeah, probably most collectors will have uh, this set, as well as the Alien set. Uh, we have the Batman Motion Picture Anthology 1989-1997. Uh, which has Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. The two Tim Burtons and the two Joel Schumachers. The two Tim Burton ones are the only really good ones in this. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Uh, especially Batman and Robin are terrible. And then we have the Ultimate Bourne Collection which has the first three Bourne films. Uh, the Matt Damon ones. Uh, my favourite out of these is probably Ultimatum. Uh, my least favourite is probably Supremacy, but I like all three of them uh, very much. Uh, Identity is also obviously really good. But yeah, we have the Die Hard Quadrilogy, which has the first four Die Hard films. Obviously, first one's the best. Uh, close uh, I think they get worse and worse, the Die Hard films. I have the fifth one on Blu-ray too, but we'll get to that later. Uh, they get worse and worse, I would say, but first, two's, uh, first one's great. Second one's slightly less great. Uh, that Hall with Avengers is pretty damn good. Uh, the fourth one's actually okay, and we'll get to the fifth one later, but let's just say it's pretty terrible. Uh, we have the Harry Potter 8 film collection, all 8 Harry Potter films. The Indiana Jones, Complete Adventures, all 4 uh, Indiana Jones films. Lethal Weapon collection, all 4 Lethal Weapons. Uh, the extended editions of the Lords of the Rings trilogy. The Mad Max collection, uh, the 3 Mad Max films. The Mission Impossible 4 movie set, I haven't watched any of these yet, but yeah, obviously the four Mission Impossibles. The Universal Monsters Essential Collection, which has Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, uh, The Invisible Man, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature of the Black Lagoon. I've only watched the first three in this set, I haven't watched any of these yet, but get to that soon. Uh, the Planet of the Apes 5 movie collection, which has uh, the first five Planet of the Apes. The only ones it, don't ha it doesn't have is uh, Rise, Dawn, and the remake. And then we have the Rocky Undisputed collection, all six Rocky films. The Scream trilogy, uh, the first three Scream movies. Uh, Shrek, the whole story, all four Shrek films. Probably the first two are the only ones worth having. The Spaghetti Western trilogy. Obviously it has uh, a fistful of dollars for a few dollars more in the good, the bad and the ugly. I haven't watched any of these yet but I need to. Spider-Man trilogy, all the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Uh, obviously this is a set that pretty much all collectors will have as well. The Star Wars Complete Saga, well soon to be Uncomplete Saga. The Steven Seagal collection which has Under Siege, Under Siege 2, Hard to Kill, Nico Above the Law and Executive Decision. The Superman Motion Picture Anthology 1978 to 2006, which has Superman, Superman Returns, or sorry, Superman, Superman 2, Superman 3, Superman 4, Quest for Peace, and Superman Returns. And the Transformers 4 movie collection, all four Transformers movies. Uh, I, I, you can watch my pre Christmas Blu ray update to find out why I have this. Uh, but yeah, I don't like any of these films, really. Uh, so that's all the box sets, so let's move on to the Amory cases. So the Amory cases uh, obviously begin uh, here, so we have 101 Dalmatians, this is the uh, the animated Disney one, 12 Angry Men, 12 Years a Slave, 127 Hours, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, probably a must have, you need to, it's a great film that. 
uh, 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. If I had to pick a favourite out of these, I'd probably go with 22, but uh, both of these are really good, nonetheless. 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. Uh, prefer 28 Days Later. Two Guns, haven't seen it yet. 300 and 300 Rise of an Empire. I don't love the first 300 like some people do, but I really hate uh, Rise of an Empire. I really didn't like that one. Uh, 500 Days of Summer, fantastic. 50-50, The Adventures of Tintin, Secret of the Unicorn, really good that one. Akira, Aladdin, one of the best Disney films. Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa. Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator 2 Requiem. American Beauty, awesome. American Graffiti, American History X, probably one of my favourite films, American History X. American Werewolf in London. Anchorman 2, The Legend, uh, Legend Continues, Apocalypse Now, that has the redux and the original cut. Uh, really good film, that. Apollo 13, Argo, the extended edition, uh, The A-Team, Attack the Block, The Austin Powers Trilogy, International Man of Mystery, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and Goldmember. Avatar, that's the extended edition. Uh... It's, I guess it's worth having. I mean, it's um, has some you know interesting things in there, but nothing too great. Bad Boys, Bad Neighbors, Bambi, Batman: The Dark Knight Returns Part One and Part Two, Batman: Gotham Knight, Batman: The Movie. That's the nineteen sixties one, the one based off the nineteen sixties TV show. Battle Los Angeles, Battle Royale, really good. Uh, Battleship, I got this one quite recently, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Beauty and the Beast, probably my favourite Disney film, Disney classic. Beetlejuice, Begin Again, The Big Lebowski, The Birds, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Blackfish, great documentary. Black Hawk Down, Black Swan, Blue's the Warmest Colour, The Blues Brothers, Bolt, The Book of Eli, don't like it. The Born Legacy, I haven't seen this one yet, but I've heard it's not as good as the other three. Boys in the Hood, very good film. Brave, Brave Heart, The Breakfast Club, one of my favourite films. The Bridge on the River Kwai, Broken Arrow, and A Bug's Life. And that is the first shelf of Amores. And now we're on to the second shelf of Amores. So we have Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Great Western, The Cabin in the Woods. Very creative horror film, I really like that one. Captain America the First Avenger, uh, Carrie, that's the original, Cars, Cars 2, probably the only bad Pixar movie I'd say, the only Pixar movie I genuinely don't like is Cars 2, Casablanca, Classic, uh, Casino, Castaway, Chasing Amy, I saw this one really recently and this is a one I got quite recently so I haven't updated it yet, but a uh, great film that, love that film, Chef, Child's Play, uh, a Christmas Carol, that's the Jim Carrey 2009 Disney one. Chronicle, Cinderella, Citizen Kane, you know, a must have for all movie fans. Uh, Clash of the Titans, that's the original, and then the remake. I haven't got Wrath of the Titans yet, so should probably get it just to round off the um, you know, uh, Titans series. But I saw Wrath of the Titans in cinema, so I didn't like it, so yeah, we'll see. A uh, Cliffhanger, A Clockwork Orange, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Cloverfield, Collateral, Columbiana, uh, this is another one I haven't updated yet, The Colour Purple, haven't seen it yet, Commando, Con Air, The Conjuring, The Crazies, that's the remake, Crazy Stupid Love, The Crudes, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Crow, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Dallas Buyers Club, Dances with Wolves and The Day of the Earth Stood Still, the original. And then we have Deep Blue Sea, that is the shark movie, because there's another movie called Deep Blue Sea, and they're both very different movies, but that's the one with the shark. It's kind of a fun shark movie. Uh, the Deer Hunter, great uh, anti war film, fantastic. The Departed, awesome. The Descendants, Devil's Advocate, Dinosaur, Dirty Dancing. Uh, District 9, Django Unchained, fantastic western that, uh, great Tarantino film, Dodgeball, Don John, 
Donnie Darko. I, I, that's the original cut, the theatrical cut. I might have to get the director's cut because I love that film and I haven't seen the director's cut yet. But yeah, great. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's the Francis Ford Coppola one. Dread, Drive, Doctor Strange, Lover, How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Dumb and Dumber, Earth to Echo, Easy A, Edward Scissorhands, possibly my favourite Tim Burton movie, love that. Uh, the Elephant Man, Elf, Empire of the Sun, End of Watch, Enter the Dragon, that's the 40th anniversary edition. Escape from New York, Escape Plan, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, The Evil Dead Trilogy, and then the newest one, Evil Dead. And that is Shelf 2 of the Amorays. And starting off shelf three of the Amory cases, we have The Exorcist, a great classic horror film. Uh, the Expendables and The Expendables 2, a uh, double pack. The Expendables 3, Face Off, Fanboys, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000, Fargo, Fast and Furious 5, Faster, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, one of my favourite films probably, A Few Good Men, Field of Dreams, Fight Club, the Fly remake, uh, fight, uh, Flight, sorry, uh, The Fog, the original John Carpenter version, Forbidden Planet, The Fox and the Hound, Frank, Frank and Weenie, uh, Friday the 13th, the original, Fruitvale Station, uh, The Fugitive, Full Metal Jacket, Gangster Squad, The Girl Who Let Through Time, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, uh, Ghost in the Shell, and Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. Uh, I would only really recommend watching the first one. The second one's no good. Uh, not at all good at all. Uh, Gladiator. The Godfather trilogy. Probably my favourite out of these is the second one. Uh, I actually like the third one. Some people don't like the third one. But I like it. It's just not on the same level as the other two. The 2014 Godzilla film. Gone Baby Gone. Uh, the fifth Die Hard movie, A Good Day to Die Hard, uh, Goodfellas, Good Will Hunting, love that film, The Goonies, The Graduate, Gran Torino, uh, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Green Lantern, awful, uh, The Green Mile, Gremlins, uh, Groundhog Day, The Hangover, and The Hangover Part 2, I haven't got Part 3 yet, I haven't seen it, so I might get it just to round off the trilogy, but... I only like, I only like, out of the two I've seen, I only like the first one, I didn't like the second one. Heat, Her, Hercules, the Disney animated one, and then the one that came out this year with The Rock. Uh, the Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey Extended Edition, and Desolation of Smaug Extended Edition. Home Alone, and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Probably the only two worth having Home Alone films. Hot Fuzz. Uh, possibly my favourite out of the Cornetto trilogy, the more I think about it. Hot Tub Time Machine, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the uh, Jim Carrey one, How to Train Your Dragon and How to Train Your Dragon 2. Uh, probably both very good films, but I'd say the first one's better. Uh, the Hunger Games, The Hurt Locker and I Am Legend. And that is shelf 3 of the Amorays. And this is the bottom shelf of the first uh, shelving unit. And so yeah, this is the last bunch of Amory cases over here. And we have The Impossible, The Inbetweeners 1 and 2, uh, Inception, The Incredibles, uh, one of my favourite Pixar films, one of my favourite films, uh, Independence Day, Inglorious Bastards, Into the Storm, uh, I, Robot, Iron Man and Iron Man 2, The Italian Job, the original, great. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life, one of the best Christmas movies, one of the best movies I guess you could say. Uh, Jerry Maguire, awesome. Jersey Boys, just uh, found that film average honestly. Uh, Jingle All The Way, Joe, John Carter, Jumanji, uh, The Jungle Book, the animated Disney one. The original The Karate Kid, great. And then the remake with Jaden Smith, uh, I thought it was one was okay. Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2, Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2, both really good films. I'd say I prefer the second one though, a lot of people prefer the first one, I, I like them both very much, but I'd say if I'd give the edge to the second one, Volume 2. 
Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the remake of King Kong, uh, The Kings of Summer, Kung Fu Panda and Kung Fu Panda 2, prefer the first one slightly, LA Confidential, really good, Lady and the Tramp, Land of the Dead, Last Action Hero, Last Airbender, awful, uh, The Last Samurai, underrated, uh, The Last Stand, Lawrence of Arabia, obviously a great epic film, Lawrence of Arabia, The Lego Movie, Leon, Let the Right One In, Life of Pi, Lilo and Stitch, The Lincoln Lawyer, haven't updated that one yet, I haven't shown that in a video yet, uh, The Lion King, one of the best Disney films, as is The Little Mermaid, Little Shop of Horrors, that's the 1980s one, Live I Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Locke, Lone Survivor, Looper, The Lost Boys, Lost in Translation, Maleficent, just just bad Maleficent, uh, Man of Steel I thought was quite average but it has its good qualities, uh, Man on Fire, Matilda, great family film, The Matrix, I need to get the other two Matrix films, Memento, great Christopher Nolan film, Men in Black, uh, Miami Vice, haven't seen it yet. Well, I actually have seen it, but I can't remember much about it now when I think about it, so I need to rewatch it. Uh, Michael Jackson's This Is It, Million Dollar Baby, Minority Report, uh, The Original Miracle on 34th Street, and Misery. Uh, awesome film, actually, Misery. And that is the first shelving unit, so let's move on to the second shelving unit. Okay, so now we have the bigger box sets over here. So we have the Dark Knight Rises Broken Back Kill set, we have the uh, Jurassic Park uh, Trilogy set, uh, the Rambo Grenade set, all four Rambo films, and the Bond 50 set. So th these are kind of the bigger sets. And then we continue with the Amory cases, we have The Mist, Moneyball, Monsters Inc, Monsters University, Monster House, Moon, Moonrise Kingdom, Mrs. Doubtfire, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Mud, uh, The Mummy, the 1950s one, The Muppets, Muppets Most Wanted, Mystic River, Natural Born Killers, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, The Never Ending Story, The Nightmare Before Christmas, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, Night of the Living Dead, Noah, No Country for Old Men, North by Northwest, Now You See Me, uh, this is Oblivion. Uh, the Oceans Trilogy, Oculus, Olympus Has Fallen, Once Upon a Time in America, the extended edition, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, On the Waterfront, The Outsiders, Pacific Rim, Paranorman, Paul, uh, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Disney uh, Animated Peter Pan, Philadelphia, Pinocchio, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and on Stranger Tides, are still to get Dead Man's Chest and At World's End, Pitch Black and Riddick, I've still to get the, the Chronicles of Riddick, Pitch Perfect, uh, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, Planet of the Apes, the remake, Poltergeist, Point Break, Pompeii, Predator, Predator 2, Predators, Primal Fear, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, The Princess Bride, Prisoners, Prometheus, Psycho, Pulp Fiction, The Purge, The Purge Anarchy, Raging Bull, The Raid, The Raid 2, Rain Man, Ratatouille, Requiem for a Dream, and Reservoir Dogs, which is possibly my favourite Tarantino movie. And then we'll move on to the next shelf. So, we have Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and the sequel, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the original Robocop, uh, the remake of Robocop, Robot and Frank, The Rock, Rosemary's Baby, Rush, Rush Hour, Sabotage, Sanctum, Saving Mr. Banks, Saving Private Ryan, Scarface, School of Rock, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Scream 4, Serenity, Seven, Shallow Grave, Shaun of the Dead, The Shining, Signs, Silence of the Lambs, Silver Pl Linings Playbook, uh, the Simpsons movie, Sin City 1 and 2, 16 Candles, The Sixth Sense, Sleeping Beauty, Slumdog Millionaire, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, The Social Network, Source Code and Speed. Uh, we have my favourite film of, of, of all time, uh, Stand By Me, Starship Troopers, Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek, uh, the J.J. Abrams one, Star Trek Into Darkness, Step Brothers, Summer Wars, Super 8, Super Mario Brothers, 
Taken, Taken 2, Tangle, Tarzan, Taxi Driver, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre original, The Terminator, Terminator 2, Thelma and Louise, The John Carpenter, The Thing, This Is The End, Thor, Titanic, To Kill a Mockingbird, Total Recall, The Original, The Town, and Tower Heist. And that's the second shelf of Amory's at this shelf and unit. And we have the last shelf of, Am of Amory's. We have the Toy Story Trilogy, Training Day, Train Spotting, Tremors, Troll Hunter, Tropic Thunder, True Romance, The Truman Show, Turbo, Twister, Unbreakable, Uncle Buck, Under the Skin, Unstoppable, Up, Up in the Air, The Usual Suspects, Valkyrie, V for Vendetta, Wally, -E, War of the Worlds, the uh, 2005 one, Warrior, The Warriors, Watchmen, Watership Down, Waterworld, The Way Way Back, When Harry Met Sally, White Christmas, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, The Wind Rises, The Wizard of Oz, The Wolverine, The World's End, World War Z, Wreck-It Ralph, The Wrestler, X-Men First Class, X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Days of Future Past, Zero Dark Thirty, Zodiac, Zombieland, and finally Zulu. So, uh, now we're going to move on to the steelbooks and such. So, on top of this little uh, shelving unit here, we have the original, all three seasons of Star Trek, the original series, on Blu-ray, obviously. And then we get into the steelbooks. We have the jumbo steelbook of Batman Begins in the Dark Knight. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Anchorman, the, the first movie, uh, The Avengers, Ben-Hur, Beverly Hills Cop, Big, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, Blade Runner, uh, The Burbs, uh, if you can see that, uh, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Captain Phillips, Children of Men, the, the original Conan the Barbarian, Day of the Dead, Dumbo, Elysium, E.T., Fast and Furious 6, Finding Nemo, Forrest Gump, and The Frighteners. I know that's hard to see, but that's The Frighteners. And then we have Frozen, Gone with the Wind, Gravity, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Halloween, Hellboy, uh, who, which was sent to me by Rob the Movie Collector, so thanks very much, man. Uh, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. The Hunger Games Catching Fire, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 3, Jaws, GF, uh, JFK, Men in Black 3, The Prestige, Rumblefish, Seven Samurai, The Shawshank Redemption, Shutter Island, Ted, Thor The Dark World, Time Bandits, The Untouchables, The Wolf of Wall Street and finally X-Men Origins Wolverine. And then down here we have a few digi books, we have King Kong and Sh the original and Schindler's List. We have some TV stuff. We have the 50th anniversary special of Doctor Who, uh, Fargo TV show, Firefly, Frozen Planet, um, Game of Thrones, the first three seasons, The Pacific, and then all four seasons of The Walking Dead that are, 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 that are available at least. Obviously there's a fifth season, but it's not finished airing yet. And then finally we have my WWE Blu-rays, which we'll go through quickly. Best of Smackdown 2009-2010. CM Punk Best in the World, uh, For All Mankind, Life and Career of Mick Foley, The John Cena Experience, Ladies and Gentlemen, My Name is Paul Heyman, WrestleMania 26, SummerSlam 2010, Hell in a Cell 2010, Bragging Rights 2010, Survivor Series 2010, Royal Rumble 2011, WrestleMania 27, Extreme Rules uh, 2011, SummerSlam 2011, Hell in a Cell 2011, Vengeance 2011, Survivor Series 2011 and finally TLC 2011, Royal Rumble 2012, Extreme Rules 2012, WrestleMania 29 and finally WrestleMania 30. And that's all of my Blu-rays. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'll be back with more videos soon and I'll do another Blu-ray collection video probably this time next year. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys and bye.